Hi, everybody. Well, I get messages all the time saying, Don, in this place, let's just take a random place in the world, London, where's a good place to stay? That's pretty vague. So here's one of the reasons I really have a hard time when it comes to recommending hotels for people to stay at. I've stayed at hundreds of hotels across the world and I don't always go by the same criteria of why I'm staying at that hotel. For instance, when I took my friend Alicia to Rome and I knew it was going to be probably our last cruise for a good many years because she was getting married and she was about to have a baby. Who knows when we can cruise together. And I want to make it a little extra special. So I booked suites at hotels. We each had a, a suite. I would never book that hotel for myself. But that happens to be one of the only places I've ever stayed at in Rome itself. And so when people ask me for a recommendation on a hotel in Rome, that's the only one I can think of, but it's super expensive. And I don't know if I would recommend it to a normal traveler looking to just have a hotel for a pre-night cruise or to see the sights of Rome. Maybe there's another hotel that's better. And I get that all the time, even in ports like Fort Lauderdale, for instance, which I'm in all the time. I like to stay at the Embassy Suites. It's on 17th Street, there's a Publix right around the corner, there's a steakhouse, there's a Subway, there's a McDonald's, there's a pharmacy, all within walking distance, and it's just around the corner from the cruise port. Literally a two minute drive into my ship in the morning, and they have shuttle services in the hotel. Trouble is, it's not a cheap hotel. Right? It is one of the more expensive hotels in there. And the reason is it's so close. It has so many amenities there. It has a good restaurant. It has free breakfast. In some rooms, you have a happy hour in the evening with free drinks for a couple free drinks. It also is like a one bedroom place. It has a bedroom and a living room and it's a big hotel. So lots of good reasons to stay there. But if you're on a budget, this probably isn't your hotel. Be unless, unless you have like four or five people you're trying to get into a room because then you have to hide a bed, etc. But if you're just a couple, do you need a one bedroom and a living room? So to be honest, I rarely use the living room when I'm staying at the hotel, but I do like the space and I like the location. So for me, it's all about convenience, right? The convenience of what right now I'm looking for right? What am I looking for? So when I fly into London, you either arrive at Gatwick Airport or Heathrow. And so I look at where my flights are going to land. It's a good hour or so to the cruise port. And that's with a private car. And then I decide, am I going to get a private car? Or am I going to take the cruise ship buses in the morning? to get to the cruise terminal. So if I'm going to take the buses, then I will look for a hotel right beside the airport because it's convenient. I get off my plane, I go over 100 feet, 200 feet sometimes, sometimes it's attached to the airport. I can just walk into the hotel, get my room, stay overnight, go back to the airport in the morning and jump on the bus shuttle to the cruise port. It just makes easy embarkation. It just makes things easier. If I'm staying, say, for two or three days ahead of time and I want to see the city of London, I'll book another hotel more closer to downtown. I'll decide, do I want more room? Am I going by myself? Do I want a luxury hotel? Or do I want the cheapest economy hotel I can get? You know, a Motel 6, a Motel 8. You know what those are. Well, hmm. That's how I choose my hotel. So when I get recommendations, where should I stay? It's very, very hard, but I will usually choose convenience to the cruise port over price. I'll be honest right now. 
I always usually choose convenience over price. What is easiest, what is fastest, what is in a good location for this trip? So if I'm going to Seattle, people ask me, hey, where do I want to stay? I was asked this by our friends that are coming with us on this group cruise. And I would say, well, I would stay at the, the Waterford or I would stay at the Marriott Waterfront. It's right there near the market. It's right near there near the Battleship Museum. It's, it's right in by the cruise port. In fact, one of the hotels is facing Norwegian's cruise terminal. That's how convenient it is. But if you're asking where I would stay if I'm on a budget, I would be much further in town. And that's actually where we ended up staying because the people, some of the people we're going with at this time, some of our friends are on a budget and they said, hey, can we stay here? And I said, yes, and we will find our way to the cruise port the next day. If I was on my own, I'd be staying at one of those two hotels strictly for the convenience. So I was wondering, what would you book? Do you look at, I'm just looking at, it's an overnight stay. I just need a place to lie my head, fall asleep, and get to the cruise in the morning. Or do you look for amenities of the hotel? What do they have? I want to have a hotel with a spa. I want to have a hotel with a, a restaurant inside the hotel. I want these things. I want closest to the cruise port, or I want cheapest. There are so many things you can look at to book your hotel. And that's why, again, like I'm saying, I have a hard time specifically telling people without getting a lot of information. So like if you're on a group cruise with me, I will sometimes send out, here are three or four hotels, and I'll list the average price of the hotel. And a little tagline of why you should stay there. This hotel is near the airport. You can get back, take the shuttle directly to the cruise port in the morning. This hotel is right near the cruise port. It has this, it has this, it has this. It's good for sightseeing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll list a few things, but to be specific, and a lot of people assume I've been to every hotel in the world. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been asked, uh, hey Don, in uh, Bangkok, I want to go and see this specific place. Would you recommend this hotel, this hotel, or this hotel? I've never stayed in any of those three hotels, but they assume I kind of have. And in my early days of traveling, I was a lot more frugal uh, than I am now because I was still trying to build you know, save money and re get ready for retirement and et cetera, et cetera, right? You tend to put, try and put more money aside when you're younger in life than when you're older. When you're older, you want to enjoy life or if you go through something that is, you know, possibly life-changing, like a medical condition, you start to rethink how you want to do things like travel and your friends and your family, et cetera. Things can change in a heartbeat. So yeah, if you're going to ask me where to stay, what hotel should I be at? I'm going to give you my recommendations kind of based on what I go for, unless you say, Hey, we're looking for this. It makes it so much easier. Somebody says, Hey, I'm looking for a hotel under $250 that is clean and I, but I don't need anything there. Okay. Well, let me find you a hotel, no problem. But uh, yeah, Don, which hotel would you stay at in Bangkok? I don't know. It's been 17 years since I've been in Bangkok.